Dave Watson returns to the Dell for the first time since his £50,000 transfer in January. He leads up the Stoke side since his move to the Potteries. He's reclaimed his place in the England team. By coincidence, Southampton have an inexperienced youngster in their number five shirt. Mark Whitlock makes his fourth appearance in the first team today because Chris Nicholl is suspended. Callahan. Gola. Could go all the way. He's very tempted. And there's a deflection and a very good reaction saved by Fox. Golak looked there as though he was in for his first goal for 13 months. Defence falling away to cover the Southampton attackers. Golak went on, let the shot go. The deflection from Watson, well saved by Fox. And this is not an easy one for Stoke to cope with. There's a lot of happening there for Southampton. A lot of possibilities as Waldron runs up and shoots. Well, they all look at each other and wonder what went wrong. Keegan behind, but it's Waldron coming up and just whistled it through the gap. No wonder Fox is perplexed. Whitlock's header. And then Bracewell, Wiley. Bracewell again. Callahan jumping, Griffiths. And that won't count. The whistle had gone for a foul by O'Callaghan. it away from Armstrong and Bracewell's cross and that's where the foul was pushing the back Shannon got to the byline and pulls back the cross for Armstrong of getting to the byline and pulling back the cross and the header then is always likely to favour the striker rather than the defender Alan Ball polishes up the forehead that administered the finishing touch but what good work by Mike Shannon to set it up Fox absolutely rooted to the spot Ball to cross now and Puckett's click, and then Shannon, and that is number three. Once again, the set piece brings about the downfall of the Stoke defence. Southampton fans delighted, Fox disconsolate, and a free kick with two touches in the air, and goal number three. Puckett and Shannon. Barkin, Wiley calling for it and getting it, he's well found with that pass, and he's turned well and shot well, and he scored! Well, the credit for that really does belong to Alan Wiley. The real goal scorer's instinct, as soon as the ball was picked up out on the far side, he saw that the space was there in the box, called for the ball, got it, shade of fortune on the turn, but a lovely bit of finish. Callahan giving it to Williams. Keegan, a lovely touch for Shannon. And Shannon heading for goal. Graceful it was who took the ball away from him, but only as far as Keegan. Armstrong, Shannon, Shannon again. It just wouldn't go. There was some fine football in the build up. And the finish just wasn't there. Good header by Armstrong. And Fox getting his body in the way. Shannon had a couple of bites, so did Puckett, and eventually to corner. Well, that just about uh, balances out the effort by Griffiths at the other end. And <laughs> Mike Shannon now has uh, found himself a substitute because uh, the actual match ball has disappeared. Shannon corner and 
Now on this side. This time it'll be Armstrong. There's the ball that uh, disappeared out of the ground just now. doing and Fox was alert so there was no danger. McElroy now touched away from him by Whitlock back in by Hampton Riley Todd Watson he will enjoy that one Gatterman is comprehensively beaten by a most marvellous shot from Dave Watson there was a moment of utter silence as that ball went in off the crossbar and Dave Watson will remember that one for some time to come. Finally helped make it, so did Dodd, and did that sing into the net. This to Bracewell, out to Hampton. Hampton tries the shot. season by Stoke City. 3-0 down, away from home, now back on turns. Good bit of play by Hampton and a header by McElroy to level the scores. Two, three, four, five, six in the area and ball just outside it. And there's the goal! Whitlock has scored it and it is four. football is one that he will cherish it was a beauty Williams again good ball to find Allen Ball and that's a good cross but Fox equal to it and now the referee brings to an end a game that is going to linger long in the memories here seven goals Mark Whitlock the 20 year old who came in at centre half scored the goal that eventually settled it after Stoke had come back from 3-0 down to 3-all. Laurie McMenemy goes off relieved at seeing his team win by four goals to three. And they've been such good goals, I wouldn't want to be the one who had to choose which was the best of them. All one could do is offer a vote of thanks to two teams who played football in the spirit that we want to see it play. Southampton 4.